Hello, my name is Tim Melvin, and I'm going to be your instructor in Math 16, Business Calculus, this semester. So I'm going to make a little short video going over the course, talk about the syllabus. I'll go over some of this again the first day of class, but it's nice to have a video so you can stop and pause since there's a lot of information overload the first week of class. All right, so you can see our Canvas page on the background. I'm going to make me disappear right now. All right, I use Canvas um, to post, you know, basically everything in the class. So if you ever have to miss a class or if you missed a worksheet or lecture notes or anything, I'm going to keep everything here on Canvas along with uh, due dates, uh, exams, um, everything else. So on um, the home page is always going to be uh, set up as those modules. I break it down by chapters inside here. I'm going to come back to this in a second. I want to start with looking at the syllabus. I'm not going to go over the entire syllabus. You have a PDF copy of it. Let's see if it's make it bigger. All right, so I've um, got my information here at the top. Um, I think the best way to get a hold of me outside of class is either email, tmelvin at sendrose.edu or message me directly from the Canvas uh, website or app. If you message me through Canvas, it goes directly to my email, and I'll answer, uh, as you try to answer within 24 hours, uh, maybe a little bit more on the weekends. My office is uh, Kunde215, and you can see my office hours right here. So I'll make a note, um, on Tuesdays and Thursdays after our class, I teach a 6 to 8 p.m. class, and I'm going to stick around in Kundi 101 from 8 to 8.30 or even later if there are students there. So um, if you finish class and you want to stay on campus for a couple hours, maybe try to work on homework and you have questions, I'm available um, after my later class Tuesday and Thursday. Otherwise, you see my office hours here. Um, if you need to see me during the semester and you can't make my set office hours, talk to me in class, message me. I'm sure we could make set up a time I can move outside these office hours. I do want to note you do not have to make an appointment for these office hours. I will be in my office for Community 101 during these set office hours. If I have to miss my office hours for whatever reason, I send out a message to you through Canvas. So please make sure your uh, email or text or however you want to get communication through Canvas is set up because I will be sending messages through Canvas fairly frequently. Uh, I have to change due dates or cancel office hours and so on. All right. So yeah, this uh, course is called Introduction to Mathematical Analysis. I don't know why it's called this. You can call it Business Calculus. We're going to be learning uh, calculus without trigonometry and hopefully without a lot of the heavy, heavy algebra that's required in the engineering calculus course here on campus. We're going to focus instead on uh, business and economic applications and what is a calculus derivatives and integrals actually mean and how do we use this in these contexts. So if someone asks you what class you're taking, it's calculus just for a business major's business in uh, some econ. Okay, so for calculator, um, if you have a graphing calculator, that's encouraged for you to bring it, especially if you used it in a previous class, but it's not going to be required. We're going to meet in a computer lab. I'm going to go over probably GeoGebra. It's got a free software uh, I'm going to be using in class. Uh, so you could use that as your graphing calculator, and it will be allowed during exams. So if you have a graphing calculator and you're comfortable with it, bring it, but do not go spend, you know, 50 or 100 or $200 on a calculator. It's not worth it for this class alone. I plan on three midterm exams during the semester. I have tentative dates here because, of course, things happen, stuff changes, but I'm going to try very hard to stick to our class schedule. So uh, if you know you're going to be gone for whatever reason during the semester and you talk to me in the first week or two of class, we could set up makeups. After the first week, I'll remind you guys this on our first class period. If you're gone for one of these days, I'm going to say too bad. You need to look at your schedule right now and let me know if you're going to be gone. Of course, emergency, you know, uh, family emergencies, medical stuff, that's a whole different scenario. But if you know you're going on a trip or you're part of uh, athletics or debate or whatnot, you know, talk to me sooner and we can schedule makeups. And all that's true except for the final exam. The final exam is Tuesday, December 17th. 
right, I'm going to go over homework. We've been doing, we're going to do online homework in this class. I'll talk about that a little bit more in a little bit. Uh, there's going to be four labs or group work assignments. These are a little bit shorter and then one slightly larger project we'll be doing this semester. Uh, those will be more, more focused on your written communication. Could you write up a technical report? Can you explain the mathematics uh, in layman's terms? All right, here's your grading breakdown. We're going to have those four, or sorry, three midterms and uh, one final exam. The final exam will be comprehensive, but in this class I weigh all four exams equal. So all four exams are weighted equal, 70% uh, of your grade, then the online homework is 10%, and the group work, the labs and projects, can be 20%. All right, there's lots of places on campus to get help. I think the best resource is going to be each other, though. So try to find someone else in class. I find students that tend to be very successful, get a good study group going, and with other students, they're going to push each other. Outside the class, we've got the Tutorial Center, First Floor Library. There's going to be the new Math Tutoring Center in Community 153. Also, the third floor of Bertolini has Mesa. So there's lots of places to get free tutoring on campus. Uh, I always just encourage you to make sure if you need to get help on any homework problems or sections, make sure you keep track and go back over those again before the exam. The first time you're learning something, uh, it, it's going to be difficult. We're learning calculus to humanity. I'll estimate 10 to 50,000 years to come up with this material, and you're going to learn it in four months. So make sure to ask for help. Get help when you get confused. I put important dates for uh, dropping, make sure you keep those. And um, the last note I want to talk about for the syllabus is special needs, particularly if you get extra time or you take exams at the DRD testing area, just get your paperwork done early and get it to me so it's not an issue when exam one comes. Okay, so there's the syllabus. I'm going to go back to the home page. And I want to preview so this course textbook. Open this up here. Excuse me. All right. So here's a course textbook. Um, when you go on here, when you first go onto Canvas, when you click on course textbook, or if you click on e-textbook or any of the homework assignments. Um, you're going to be asked to sign in. So you're going to have to sign in. I believe those are one or two week free trial period. So if you're not sure about the class or your schedule, I suggest you not pay right away and just do the free trial period. If you do the free trial period, you will not lose any information when that's over. It will just won't allow you to access the book for the homework after the trial period is done. But if you are going to keep going with this course, I believe online access is $45. I picked this textbook because it's a lower cost, not free, but lower cost textbook. And that includes a digital copy of the book. So you can see right here, all the sections we'll need. Click on the contents. We jump around, you will have to log in. It's slightly annoying. But you have uh, the textbook. And if you look right here, a lot of the textbooks have videos as well. So if you want to read, there's little video players on the side that will go over that example. You want to use the and they do have multiple um, tutors or people explaining at the bottom, including uh, almost all problems have a Spanish version of the explanation. I'm going to click on one of the online homework sets. So again, I believe it's $45, if I remember correctly, to get the online homework and the online version of the textbook. So you do not need to spend any more than that. I believe it's another $20, so $65, if you want a physical copy of the textbook and access to everything electronic. So it's up to you. You do not have to buy the physical copy. Okay, last thing I want to go over is the uh, homework sets. Uh, you see the due dates up on top, and this should pop up in your Canvas calendars, so you should see all these due dates. 
you change anything this semester, I'll change the due dates, but I have these set for the semester, so no need to wait for me if you want to start early or try to get ahead a little bit. Uh, but we'll be covering these sections in class. And notice right here, um, you have unlimited temps until the due date and time, which will always be you know, midnight on uh, class days. Um, and I have this set up that you get 25% if you're just typing the correct answer. So let's do an example here. If we plug in 3 for function, 4 times 3 is 12, minus 3 is 9. Let's say it's 9. And let's just put minus 9. Submit. I didn't answer all questions. That's okay. And it'll tell you, okay, the nine's correct. The minus nine is not correct. An A. What's an A doing in here? I'll click an A. If you get it wrong twice, then you're going to see all these show answers down here. So I click on show answer nine. Show answer oh, that should be minus fifteen. So I like this because then you could maybe try to work backwards if you made a mistake. You have the answer for all these problems. I mean, if you want to not think at all, you could just type in all these answers. A squared plus 7a plus 14. Submit. You can see right here, you get 25% of each of those parts. So this right here is a two-point question. I did not get full credit. But if you want to get full credit, you can always click on Try Another question. Very similar, just change the numbers, change the function slightly. You will not lose this points if you attempt the problem. If anything, this could just get higher to get the possible two points. And depending on your time and patience, you could work on these as many times as you want until you get full credit. I would just encourage you to make sure to keep a homework journal or a notebook or binder. And if you have any problems, you know, 1.1, let's just say number five, really Difficult question, doesn't make sense. You have to use the video tutorial to help out or go to the textbook. Keep track of those problems. If you have problems, more problems that you're having issues with, you don't get right away, keep track to make sure you can go over them again before the exam. I love all these tutorials and help options for you the first time you go through an assignment, but I do expect you to be able to do every homework assignment on your own without the help before the test. All right, I think that we'll finish it. We'll go over some more details in class. I look forward to meeting you uh, when class begins.